Welcome to pre-match build-up of today's fixture between Vauxhall Motors and AFC Liverpool. Today's quite a significant day because if results go a certain way, then Vauxhall Motors will be crowned North West Counties Football League Premier Division champions. Our coverage, as always, is sponsored by Baltic Apprenticeships. Steve Hilton, there's no other way of saying it, this is a hugely significant day in the season. The first opportunity to snatch that league title. Yeah, I mean, we've got to get hope a result goes our way in another fixture, the with the short berry game. But all we can do today is just do our job on the pitch and take three points and then whatever happens at ten to five happens at ten to five. Um massively significant game after the other game as well. Uh Berry still fighting to I think he can if we won today he can still match us but there's a fifteen goal swing in our favour so we've just got to get the game done get the game won today and see where it takes us hopefully fingers crossed we'll be celebrating but if it doesn't we go to Avro on Saturday and uh, look to get that point that will um, secure us the title and promotion Win, do your job and wait. Oh, don't touch that. Definitely don't touch that. It's a glass for small people. It's a, it's a drink for adults. Someone come and collect the kids. Right, I'll start that one again, shall I? Yeah, go on. Do your job, get the win, that'll be the message today. Res other results will take care of themselves, but today is the day. The first opportunity for Vauxhall Motors to clinch the Premier Division title. But the message, as I said, will be take care of your own business and the rest will take care of itself. Lining up for the Motors today in goal, Sam Booth to Ethan Goldborn and coming back into the side is Greg Drummond the centre back partnership of Marcus James and Tom Mitchell the captain Joseph Holt continues after a good run of form and he's partnered by Ben Holmes and in the midfield is Michael Burr he Connor Harwood Jake Parker who comes in and Lewis Buckley up front for AFC Liverpool number one Jack McGovern Two Matty Gore, three Thomas Parry, four Alfie Cunningham, five Lee McConchie, six Ben Cartwright, seven Tom Douglas, eight James Howell, the captain, nine Che Trapasso, ten William McCarthy, and eleven Jesse Dowling. Before kickoff, we'll observe a minute silence in memory of the 97 football fans who died at Hillsborough. Wonderfully observed by the crowd here at the Van Eupen Arena. We'll run through the subs before kickoff. For the motors, Bobby McDonnell, Simon Thelwell, Sean Mosscroft, Jordan Deere, and Ben Dufton Kelly. And for the visitors, AFC Liverpool, Paddy Kay, Harvey Edgar, Daniel Price Jordan, Kyle Scorer, and as Nafi Shamari. Steve Holton, it's a big day today. Big day football, yeah, Bank Holiday Monday. There's, a, to there's be a big won. crowd in as well. Yeah, you know what? It's you one of them. You think you hope for a big crowd, Bank Holiday Monday. Season coming to an end, but um, 
the rain come out, didn't it? I think it's gonna put people away, but no, it's, uh, it's a good turnout, and uh, away we go. So the motors will be more determined to, than ever to make sure that they put themselves in pole position for that Premier Division title. Who knows? By the end of the day, they may be celebrating that fact. Just got to take care of our own business today, and um, if it's prolonged, it's prolonged. If not, so it's early cross here. Two people looking to win that a bit. I just wonder what AFC Liverpool are going to come out here today, is it just end the season? Towels on beaches for them or is he going to come back and come out and sign and be party poopers? Confident play from Goldborn, finds Parker in space, gets an early shot away. Where to strike on this surface, rain's been at it all night, all day. Want to win the lot so got to be in it. Number 10 to come back in for today's game. Left on the bench against Winsford. Trying his luck early on there. I hope he doesn't think I've got a personal vendetta against him. Uh, his miss against Berry and his miss against Winsford <laughs> made it into the match highlights. There's Parker with the corner on the other side. Disappointing but not cleared properly. Chance. It's back with Parker running into the box, puts a low one in. Buckley with the shot. Oh, saved by McGovern. Got down well, the keeper. Box all looking right in the mood for this. Buckley again goes for the shot, but looks like it might have been blocked by Harwood. It's out with Parker oh, to Drummond. Yeah, great ball. interplay. Along the floor. Just oh, needed a tap in. Oh, he's missed it. Harwood's gone over the ball and missed it. Just an easy tap in. Just missed his kick, I think. But it's with Berkey. Danger not over for AFC. It's just going to come back with Goldborn. It goes to the shot. Worth a go. Keeper's not dealt with it. Good early pressure. Corner. Corner. Good early pressure this. Oh, giving away. Chance here for FC Liverpool to take the lead. Right, Sam Booth stands Ooh. up strong. Was equal to it. It was Trapasso had a one on one with the keeper. Shot the shot for offside, but never come. Looked like he timed his run well. Sam Booth stepping up again, as he's done a few times this season since he's come in. Drummond finds Buckley, yeah. he gets a cross in, just too long for everyone, but Berkey will retrieve it, puts another cross in, Harwood with the header! Yes! Great play from Vauxhall, strong header from Harwood, buries it, diving header, we love to see a diving header. Yeah, great play by Berkey again, I think he's been a stand-up performer the last couple of games. High people there by Perth, the referee's played on. Trapasso with it again. Get support. Cross comes in, it's flicked on. I think what Booth. A save that is. <laughs> I think we could hear it from here, he got a fingertip on that. What a save that is. Great head, a great ball. And the pace on the ball, so you just had to glance it. It's come up Sam Booth, some pace. Stuck out to the left, I think it was a left arm and put it just over the bar or just wide the far post. Some save Sam Booth twice in the early doors. He's uh, coming to our rescue. There's McCarthy with the header. Good play from AFC, looking to strike back. Pushed back by Vauxhall pressure, but they'll come again. McCarthy 
causing havoc again. Gets a sh shot away. Oh. Martin Booth can do about that one. It's a great strike from McCarthy. Shifted onto his left foot. Right into the top corner. After pulling off the hero heroics just a minute ago. Nothing Booth could do about that one. 1-1 one, one here at the Van Eupen Arena. Holmes to take. Be the first man, but comes out to Berkey. Keeps going with it. Mitchell oh. tries the volley. Harwood. Oh, chance. Oh, snapshot. He did well to get out of his feet and get a shot, but he couldn't keep his left foot there for down. Berkey with the corner this time. It's a deep one. It's all it's the way in. in. It's in. He's done it's it done again. again. <laughs> Twice in two games. He's put a cross in and sailed all you know the what? way over the goalkeeper. I thought it was going to go over the bar because it had that much height on it, but you could tell McGovern was certainly, he was worried about it as soon as he picked the plate the ball up and then, yeah, straight in, back there, rippled, Berkey. No, he, he, can't, he, he can't be claiming he meant that one. I don't know what, he'll score from anywhere though. 2-1. <laughs> Go on. Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that in my life. Berkey with the corner. He misses James! Oh, he's just gone wide! Oh, he got great contact on it. Couldn't direct it inside the post. That would have been. That would have put the game to bed, I feel. Oh, see how that got picked up in the wind. Falls to Berkey, gets the shot away! <laughs> Emphatic finish. The number seven strikes again. Four players among Michael Berkey, great strike. Got a bit of a gust of wind, so it's away from the centre half and a uh, square ball over. It was Ben Holmes squared it. Berkey 20 yards out, top corner. 3 1. Boxall in the position they wanted to be. Getting the job done here at the Van Eupen Arena. The fans are loving it, singing the Berkey chant. Box all 3 1 all up, 3 1 up against AFC Liverpool. Howard flicks it off for Parker, gets a yeah. shot away. Tidy finish from oh. Parker. Beautiful interplay from Howard. I'm from the gonna, corner. I'm not going to have a go with him, but he, he can't find a target. <laughs> <laughs> We've given him pelters the last few games, but he, uh, he's, he's been getting in the right positions and he gets the rewards. Great flick on from Harwood and he just passed it into the corner. Didn't need to put any power behind it. Possibly learned from his <laughs> past mistakes. And nice finish, nice finish. Tidy finish into the bottom corner. Foxhall 4, AFC Liverpool 1. <laughs> Holmes puts in Berkey, it's charging towards goal, puts it inside to McDonnell. He tries to place a shot but only finds the keeper and McGovern saves it well. <laughs> Thelma flicks it on, Holmes finishes it. Oh and the flag's up. It's a great knockdown from Thelwell. It finishes here, the Van Eupen Arena. 4-1 to Vauxhall. It finishes. Still playing, still here. Uh, There's about three or four minutes ago since the 93rd minute. So they must be nearly over it. Uh, Finish over the late sure. equaliser. We'll, we'll wait to find out. And if it stays like this, we will be crowned champions. Bank holiday Monday. Full time, 3-3 three, three Vauxhall champions. Fox Fox Motors. Fox Motors. Champions. Champions. Northwest Counties Football League Premier Division champions. The game's finished at Withenshaw 3 3. Late equalised for Withenshaw Town. We win today. Three points put us on 91. No one can catch us now with two games to go. Congratulations to Mick McGrath's men and the boys. 
Fantastic achievement this season. What a season they've had and they capped it off here with a 4-1 win against AFC Liverpool in the pouring rain on Easter weekend. Doesn't get much better than that Steve Hilton. No it doesn't, it doesn't. You know what, it was, uh, it was Navy when he went to the up. We went 1-1 and it was like, oh, is it going to happen today? The win? You wonder whether the referee might call the game off because the pitch. But um, certainly to uh, 4-1, we were well, well, well worth the 4-1 as well. Could have been 6-7 the second half. You're thinking, yeah, missed chances. Like, with goal difference as well in that favour. But you want to have as much cushion as you can. And then with the short time, popped up with the last minute equaliser, 93rd minute. And that sealed uh, the fate for the rest of the league and made us champions of North West County's Premier Division. What more do you want to say? Vauxhall Motors, champions. Look the Motors. Mick McGrath, your Vauxhall Motors team are Premier <laughs> Division champions, how does that sound? It's unbelievable honestly, um, I don't know, it's not, I don't really care about the game, I'm going to be honest, it's just obviously about the 40 games we've already played, but yeah, it's a special moment, it's a, something we didn't really set out to do at the start of the season, but as the season went on we grew and we always knew we were one of the better teams in the league and just proves they were the best army, you know, and yeah, it's been a busy, busy two weeks with obviously what's going on off the field and stuff, but that just makes it sweet today. And the, the support we had today, the crowd we had was, was unbelievable. And it just shows how far this club's come since you know, it took over five years ago. We were getting 40 people, um, 50 people max to what do we have over 300 people here today to support us. It's, you know, it means the world to me, honestly. It's, it's just unbelievable. Is there also a sense of relief that it's been in sight and now it's it's done? Yeah, it's a funny moment there it is, you know. We are, we're waiting on a result, we're waiting for Betty to drop points and I don't think I even watched the last 10 minutes of the game. We just had our phone as it and ran a scattered at the phones out, so we were just painfully just refreshing, refreshing, hoping that um we've ensured score and we'd already done our job. I mean we were good we, we, we were good in, in, in spells today, which which was good, but yeah, it is a relief, but do you want it? I don't know, just I don't know what to say because I'm just so happy. But so there's loads of people in the background who we want to thank. Do you know what I mean? And we'll do that at a later date. But today's just about winning the league. And yourself and this team have been through a lot of adversity this season, so you know they deserve it just as much as you know any team that we yeah, have. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a game. It's a season over 42 games, and we've done it under in 40. Um, and I think we've deserved to do it. I think we've been top of the league for, I'd say, ninety percent of the season. Um, but look, you know, we're a, we're a club with not as much finances as um, a lot of the clubs at the top end, and you know, you've got to cut your cloth accordingly. And I think we've done that well. I think we've recruited really well with the with what we had, and you know, we, I've got that they're the top bunch of lads. I've got there, you know, 
very strange bunch of rules there, but um, do you know what? They all bought into what we were trying to do, and um, obviously we've been through walls, haven't we? Not bad for a team that plays anti football, eh? Yeah, look, I, I get it. Um, I get what people are saying, and but I think we've from the second highest goal scores in the league, I think. That was that right? Um, we went with the second best goal difference in the league. That's right, yeah. Um, that's anti football. So well, I don't really care. It's about getting over the line, and then, you know, non league football is about getting results. It's not about how well you play or do you play good football or whatever. It's about getting results and we've got the results, and that's all that matters. So I imagine it would be hard to take that smile off your face for the next couple of days. And yeah, weeks. I'm not going to work tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, uh, well, I might do, but I'm going to have a good few bevies and enjoy it. But um, we've still got a job to do. I know when we've hit back to it, we've got to go to Avro, we've got to go to West Didsbury, and we've got to show people why we're champions. We know that, that our game against Avro will have a, a massive impact on who gets promoted. Um, and we're professional enough, and I'm, I've got standards to keep that we will go there and we will a good performance in and try and you know, try and win the game because you know, that's what you do to the league and no one else would expect anything less out of us but you know, I'm just so happy for the lads and everyone, all the use, all the media lads, the fans, committee, yeah it's just a top day isn't it? Well as you said mate, still games to play but <coughs> you are Premier Division yeah, champions, no. congratulations, Cheers. well done on a great Thank season. You. Thank you. <laughs> the dust has just about settled here at the Van Eupen Arena. It's been an emotional day, what can we say? Vauxhall Motors, Premier Division champions, what more can you say Steve? Do you know what, it's um, unbelievably special moments, you know for myself I've won this league and um, to be a player and win it, but to come back and be part of the background and see you doing it again, um, in a very 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 tough league where there's been, there's been four teams up until basically the death that could it could have gone anyway. The seven out of seven run we've gone on has been fantastic. Credit to Mick McGrath. Uh, the performances, it's been a joy to watch. It's been nerve wracking. You know, I, I, I don't know how Mick's felt on the bench and that, but for us it's been nervous, but you know, we were saying oh, last minute winner, last minute equaliser for Winshaw, and uh, yeah, come through. So uh, great scenes at the end. Great to be part of it. I just want to say a massive thank you to Mick McGrath, um, Joe Heath, Skaz, Steve Aspinall, um, Neil, Patterson, and all the players as well. They've made us part of it as the season's Absolutely. gone on. You know, we've got closer to the team, they talk to us, they're, they're always happy to do interviews with us and interact with us and they've really made us, we were only saying the other day that, they've made us feel really part of this, this club. So, to them guys, thanks for a roller coaster of a season, which finished out brilliant, but just for, for letting us be part of it and let, making us feel welcome um, is, is it, it's, it's brilliant and uh, like I say, I can't thank them enough for the experience this season. I'm sure the other members of our team will echo those thoughts and just going on that feeling, we were feeling it right up until the end. We spoke to Mick before and he said last 10 minutes he was just wondering what the score in the other game was. Yeah. We'd done our, the team had done their job and we were just waiting on that result and then every, there was a tension in the air, wasn't there? Yeah, we all I mean, that goal. And, and look, the goal difference was massive anyway, so even if it would have, Benny would have won today, I've got no doubt it, we would have won the league anyway. But to win at home, you know, and then half time, the rain's coming down, the hail's coming down. You're thinking, there's people, they're like the subs were warming up on the pitch at half time, and thinking, that balls aren't moving too well there. Is there a doubt that this game might not go ahead? So I'm looking at, let's see, with the cloud cover, is I'm a geologist, or oh, the meteorologist. meteorologist now, <laughs> yeah. And I'm going, yeah, the cloud cover's coming over. Uh, but yeah, and then just, yeah, when it popped up, it, uh, like, it popped up because the wind chills were a couple of minutes behind Barry, popped up. And then we had a few cheers from our kids, and then we had the Ellesmere the Port Social lads cheering. Um, but yeah, took it to the, the death. But to win at home is, is great. And, you know, like I say, I would have had no doubt we would have gone and got the job done at Avro or West Insby, but to win it in front of a, a great crowd today as well. Probably, probably, probably the biggest of the probably season. Probably the biggest, bar Berry. Um, so great to see so many people come out to cheer the lads on. Uh, hopefully, we've won them over. 
because it was always a problem in my playing days that to get the big crowds in to obviously fund players and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully we've done enough and we can get some of them players and their fans back for next season. But what the likes of Prescott and Bootle have done, they've got a good following now, five, six hundred home gates. It'd be great to see that many people coming out for us in the league above next season. And uh, well, what, we're in April now, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it next year. I'm looking forward to a break. <laughs> yeah. A couple of Saturdays off. You know, <laughs> the wife's got me number down for doing a bit of garden and that. Like, but yeah, I'm looking forward to next season already and uh, to take our, our media coverage to the next level, hopefully, and uh, go on another journey with this this special team. And we can safely say this because we've been, it's been an up and down season, but there's been a lot of adversity for this team and this club this season, and they've come out of it. Smelling of roses, yeah. deservedly champions. Listen, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to get into it too much. There's obviously stuff going on, going on behind the scenes after the Berry game. The last week and a half has been very hard for myself. And Absolutely, I echo that. The all I say is the abuse we got was not nice. It made us question whether we wanted to do this again. But no one's looking back back now. No one's going to stop us from supporting a team and doing the job for us. That we love doing, uh, that we know that fans like watching our co our, our coverage as well, and our output and the, the the podcast stuff like that. So the the last couple of weeks was really hard, um, but yeah, today's like today make it worth it. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, couldn't say the words any better. It made it all worthwhile. Um, it happens in football. Uh, it shouldn't happen in football, but you know. We've had some stick over the wins for the game. Tried, we tried to explain that as best as possible on Saturday that it was out of our hands. Um, and, you know, just the, just the end of the season, um, the goals were scored. You know, it's been you know, the best goal game was 1 0, a couple of saves by Sam Booth, the, the Earlham, the, not Earlham, the Squires Gate, they come back. He made a crucial save today, Sam Booth. Uh, you know what? The save in the first half off the header, it was a whipped in, and he's, hit, he's, he's glanced it, the power's on the ball. How he's got to handle that, I can't wait to watch it on the video. Uh, but some say that, and he, he's you know, Keaton's never let us down. But he's, uh, he's, I think he's just he's been a bit, a bit of a, a level above. Great lad. Uh, I hope he stays with us next season. I'm sure he will. It's going up a league. Um, so yeah, I, I hope the, I hope Nick gives th this team a chance. He'll obviously look to strengthen, but I just hope he keeps the the nucleus. So, you know, you know, some of the players might think, you know, I want to go and. Do something else or whatever, um, but you know I hope they stay together. They've got a great set of lads. They've got a great bond. Mick's got a great bond with them. Uh, all the, the coaching staff, like I say, Scars, Joe Heath, Steve Aspinall. Um, they've got you know a good set of lads there, and um, I'm sure you know they can go far next season as well and build on this uh, promotion and uh, championship. <laughs> So it's, it's been an emotional season, it's not even over yet, we've still got to play two yeah. games, but yeah. we can say with, or safe in the knowledge that Vauxhall Motors are champions of the Premier Division. Two more games to go, long break, and then the work starts all over again, in yeah. the league above, the Northern Premier League, Division Northern 1 Premier West, yeah. I for one can't wait. No, I can't, I'll be back next year, and hopefully, like I say, we'll, uh, we'll improve on what we've done this season. And um, bring more coverage to the uh, the fans. Hopefully, get more fans through the turnstile and make it uh, another great season, memorable season again. So, as I said, we'll see you for two more games in this 2022-23 season, and then work starts the next season. But until then, thank you all for watching. Voxel Motors are the champions. <laughs>